G'day everyone, it's SCS Supercoach, providing Supercoach content for you, so you can check me out on Twitter, Stephen D.W. Smith, and also on Instagram at SDS underscore Supercoach underscore YT. Liking and subscribing would be grouse. I'm here to present my round 10 preview, well, just my trades, because it is going to be a bit of a short video. I've got work in the morning for the first time in a few days, as you guys might have checked out in the last video, I've been crook. So I've had a few days off work, and uh, I'm going to be back into it tomorrow. This video will be uploaded roughly... Uh, between one to four Friday afternoon. Uh, just thinking about prime time for people to, to click on the video. So all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, let's get straight into the trade. So um, yeah, I was originally going to do. I was originally going to do. Um, who was it? It was Durden, Steel, and Canelio for Laird, Petrarca, and Clark. But unfortunately, a few things have happened. Uh, Whitfield, you know what, screw it. I'm going to call him Shitfield for, for the rest of the video because he's just been an absolute disgrace. So he's gotten injured and all that. So I need to address that. And I've given it a bit more thought. Cornelio's na na now named in the midfield, in the, in the guts for the team sheet. So I'm just thinking, okay, new coach, it's not Leon Cameron. He might actually play there. So this now means a few different things. So my trades I'm thinking for this week. So I'm actually trying to remember. So it was Whitfield. It was Steele. And it's McDonald. So those three are going out. This is my second to last boost. I'm actually planning on using my final boost, maybe the heading into round 13 or 14, where I could do, during the buys, where I could do two in, two out, and make four trades in one round. Um, I, realistically, for trades from here until then, I'm not going to be doing a super heap of trades. Um, uh, it's just because there's not really much point, because... I mean, we are starting to run a little thin on trades. I kind of want to head into the buys with 15 trades. So basically any cash cow or any injuries that happen are going to be my only trades from here. And then we'll reassess come the buys where we'll go get a couple of upgrades in. And same with once the buys are actually done. Uh, I would have preferred to have a final side buy before the buys, considering how things are looking early. But unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. And then... So coming in, so first of all, you've got the obvious one here, Greg Clark. And then I feel like there's not much fun bringing in maybe a value pick for steel. I feel like you need to replace his value, replace his Uber premium kind of scoring. So that in that way, I'm going to bring in Rory Laird from Adelaide. I really, really wanted to bring in Petrarca this week. I hate that I can't bring him in, but it was just going to hurt my team too much. And the ultimate goal is to make sure that you get your your main rookies, uh, your your crap rookies off the field. So, oh, sorry, before I, use, I accidentally didn't call him Shitfield. It's, uh, yeah, so uh, Lockie Shitfield's kept going out. And, uh, yeah, so I need to bring in a defender. So Jordan... Jordan Dawson is the bloke that I've leaned towards. Um, I just think he's the best value and with the biggest potential finishing top six um, with the money I've got. So now I could have brought in Doherty. I could have brought in Sinclair, I know, and I probably would have preferred to lean that way. But that would have stuffed me up too much in the buy round. So, And to be fair, this does hurt my round 13 buy quite a bit. That's actually starting to become my most concerned buy. So this is how the team would look. Obviously, Laird would come in for Carroll. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. So the forward line set, the ruck set. The emergency is on Rioli. We're not doing that. Just in case anyone's a laid out, we're going to go with dirt. And the ruck line's fully set. The midfield, I'll talk about captain and vice captaincy a bit later, uh, just in case there's a laid out. I'm going, to, I'm going to put my trust in Ben Hobbs, though. Um. And then, yeah, McCartan's going to cop it. So who's my captain and vice-captain this week? Good question. 
I think I'm going to go with Cripps at vice captain on Friday night. And then on Saturday, I probably should have made a confirmed decision. I still fully haven't. Um, I should have probably confirmed about what I was going to do with uh, the captaincy. But McRae, he's really tempting. And what's really tempting even more about McRae is I don't think he, there's as big of a risk of him going out of the midfield as such because there's so many – the dog's forward line structure is shocking at the minute. It's Karmas, Norton, and then the rest are like midfielders. So I think they'll just rotate a bit there. Maybe more of a reason McRae could go down there. But he scores really well in Ballarat. He's a good chance at the at the at the captain, but he's just he's burnt me a couple of times this year, so I am a bit wary. Uh, Two Camilla, yeah, he's in good form. Laird against St Kilda. Laird against St Kilda, without Jack Steele in the midfield, that is very tempting, and he can do it in any type of game, whether that's a loss or a win or a belting or a smashing. He just seems to get the job done. And it's basically going to be him and Ben Keyes with having disposals, having fun in the midfield now with their Matt Crouch, who's been dropped, and uh, Rory Laird, who's done his ACL. So he's got him and Keyes have got the full reign in there. And then Clayton Oliver, uh, too wishy-washy at the minute. Like, you can get a grass score from him and then you can get a crap score. Lockie Neal... 115 last week. I had him as captain last week. Against Hawthorne, though, Hawthorne seemed to be cracking down a bit more this week in terms of uh, just making sure their midfield structure is pretty good. So they immediately brought in Tom Mitchell. Could Neil cop the tag of Connor Nash? That's my thing. You know what? Could I almost go up here? I'm hoping Cripps scores well so I don't have this headache. I might almost go Laird against St Kilda. Might back the new boy in. Uh, that's a bit bit of a pod decision, but I think I'm going to lean towards that. I reckon there's a good chance of him belting out. A, well, there's no chance of him scoring a bad score. He, he does not know how to score a bad score in his life. Um, so I think... I think 115 plus is guaranteed here. So you can't go wrong with it. It's just more like what's his ceiling sort of thing. But he's just, I feel like he could be just a safe captain option this week. So I'm leaning towards that. If I don't go that way, um, I'm thinking it's, it's probably Neil if I don't go with Laird. Just see how I'm feeling. Oh, how I'm feeling. A lot can change. I think it's between Neil and Laird. But for now, I've got it on Laird. You'll see on the Sunday team review, uh, Rand review, that who, who it's on. So, yeah, um, it's not really much else to discuss, to be honest. Um, I feel like I've covered everything. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at there, guys. Probably my shortest video I might have ever done. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, uh, Actually, a couple of things. In fact, I'll, I'll get to the main one now. I just want a quick rant on Lockie Whitfield. Shitfield. So you've been playing injured and that's okay. Like, you know, thanks to GWS for letting us know that Lockie Shitfield has been playing injured the whole year. I mean, it's been pretty obvious. He's been, been a shallow of his own, own self, you know, he, he could trip on a bloody, he, he could fall over and he, he would just take 10 seconds to get up, feel sore from uh, the sharpness of the grass on the floor. Um, possibly nearly my worst nightmare this year by far. Uh, he's been a total disgrace for me. He's held me back this year uh, from having a grouse year, maybe him and Butters. But at least Butters is, oh, I don't want to talk about him anyway. Uh, Lockie Shitfield is just shocked, just a pain to deal with all year. Thank, oh, I don't wish injuries upon anyone, but it just gave me a really easy decision to trade him out. Um, he's in my never again books. I don't care if he's 200K next year. 
uh, 102K rookie. I don't care. Never again. Never again. I'm never picking Lockie Whitfield ever again. And uh, on a positive note, uh, thank you to all the, uh, a lot of people putting in comments on my last uh, round review. So I really do appreciate that. I will respond to any comments and anything that you guys have to say other than the bots that uh, send these really weird messages. So I'll just delete them. But um, yeah, I'll respond to any message. And uh, you know what? One day if we get enough questions uh, from a video, let's say about, let's say about eight, eight questions, I might do a Q&A because that's enough content to cover to answer any questions. So instead of just, uh, just replying to them, if there's enough, I might actually make a video out of it. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a, a good week for Supercoach. Hoping a big score for you. Uh, pray for, for SDS here because um, plans didn't go to plan. Pray for Petrarca to not score 200 against bloody North Melbourne. And yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, the Sunday round review. Cheers.